Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my first ever time lapse, also known as a speed build. And here is a quick example of what I'm going to be building today. It's going to be, I guess, a temple to the sunrise or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, if you guys got a good name for it, definitely let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll uh, go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, building this in creative mode. Um, it's a little bit quicker and easier. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing here is building a road up the side of this mountain. Uh, sand mountain, I guess. And... The name of the seed that I'm using for this, I uh, presented in a, back when 1.3 first came out, I did a research of a bunch of large biome seeds, and the seed words for this one is Soul's Echo. I'm not sure if you guys are going to, I mean, if you ask for the seed, I'll give it to you, but that's cool. So here I am, uh, clearing off the top of the mountain, getting ready to I'm just kind of clearing it off and giving myself a little more space to build with. Not sure if I'm going to be doing this in other speed builds or not, but I thought it would be a, a good place to start is to, to show you guys me leveling off the top of the mountain. But I think it actually looks cool when you speed it up, zipping along, chopping away all that sand. And here I am drawing out the initial basic pattern. Uh, I was telling the Crafty Nugget the other day, uh, he wanted to build something for his cow farm. And I just said, you know, draw a shape on the, the ground and just kind of build up from there. And that's what I do, is I draw a basic shape on the ground. And I thought I would go with a shape that I haven't used before. And I'm cutting circles out of the corners here. So I'm drawing circles. And I kind of thought it looked like a baseball diamond. A little bit, but I'm not sure exactly what this shape is called. That's a square with the corners cut out like that. And then I start just building up from there. I also realized that in creative I can actually build three at a time and not just two. So I went ahead with that. And now I'm putting a roof on the top. Kind of stair stepping it up. So it starts to give it a little uh, a little more colorful look to it. Even though it's all the same, it's all sandstone. But I think the stair stepped roof looks a little better. And a little bit later, I'll be replacing some of the plain blocks with some of the clean and chiseled sandstone. Oh, looks like here I forgot to hit the F1 key before I started recording this particular clip. Um, now I'm trying to figure out how to put a dome on it by drawing a circle. And I miscounted, so I had to redraw that curve over and over. Well, I realized, wait a minute, I got my count wrong. So that is going to be the circle where the dome goes. But first I'll have to finish filling in the flat section of the roof. And now I'm drawing in the dome. I'm going to build the dome out of half slabs. I've never actually built a dome out of half slabs. It's always been out of glass or some other material. So I thought I'd try to see how it looked with half slabs. So now I'm going to go back and carve out the walls into some kind of interesting shape. And at this point, I wasn't entirely sure how everything was going to look. I know I wanted to have pillars or columns holding, holding it up. So I'm just kind of playing around with some ideas and carving out the walls. So I'm creating arches here, 
and a big circle in above it. And then I thought I would go with these kind of arched columns for supporting the roof. And since most of the building was open, I decided to go ahead and let the sun set on this particular clip. The rest of it, since I was just building up, I figured it would be too dark. So this is the first time I let the sun go down. I've also been trying out some different camera panning and flybys. And now I'm creating up a couple of pillars which are going to end up being torches by using some nether rack, which burns continuously when lit. I think in the next episode I'm going to be finishing up the roadway and adding some more features around the outside of the temple itself. And now I'm putting in uh, the center, the insides, putting in a floor don't want it to be all just rough sand. And then I'm going to start digging a big hole in the middle. Um, what I'm going to be doing is putting in that, the water pool you guys saw in the first... in the introductory flyby that I showed you in the beginning of the finished product... project. <laughs> and I didn't want it to be, you know, a, uh, a swimming pool just so much as a large pool of water so I dug it pretty pretty deep actually I think I was trying to create a bowl out of it kind of an upside down dome but it didn't come out as I had planned and there's some central pillars and now I'm putting in stairs and paths coming from each side of the building. And I thought I'd try a couple of torches first, and then I changed my mind and decided to go with the flaming torches. Putting ramps on each side of the walkways. And then I had the brilliant idea to try and put in uh, a lava column down the center, but mixing lava and water is always a bad idea. And here I am starting to fill the, the pool with water. And I probably could, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have gone back and just used ice blocks and broken them in series to create source blocks throughout the pool, but I was kind of rushed. I've never done a time lapse before, and I was trying to get the whole thing done before my uh, camera finished its flight path. So that's why I put in the pool that way. And now I'm starting to add some of the more interesting sandstone blocks, the chisels, I believe, and the smooth sandstone, and then putting some additional features on the roof. Thought put in a couple of columns. Had to put them in all the way around on each side of the building so they would match. And then I believe I come back and I add some flare to the columns. Kind of looks like horns I guess, but I thought it, uh, overall it came out pretty good. Uh, definitely let me know how how you what you guys think of this uh, this video and the build itself and there will definitely be some more coming and here's one final flyby of the finished project with a little me running around all over the place crazy <laughs> so this is one wolf saying thanks for watching and you guys have a good you guys have an awesome night, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye.